from Star Wars Advanced Version. So, let's go. Um, I'm playing a melody with my right hand entirely, and I've got an accompaniment with my left hand. So let's start with the melody. Um, I've got my thumb on C, middle C, and a slight stretch, a little gap, and finger four is on G. That's how we start, and then we go F, E, D, short separated notes, finger three, two, one. So my thumb is moving along from C to D. And then I go up to C. So little stretch, or even a little movement, a little leap. I tend to give it a little, little jump when I do that. Back to another G with finger two. Repeat the whole phrase. So again, you bounce your hand down. And then once more, we're coming back down. Quite a lot of movement, as you might have noticed, with uh, both hands. Uh, and we finish this section by going F, E, F with finger three, two, three. And then a nice long D. And then we repeat the whole phrase. And we come to a middle section, so um, I'm going to move my hand down to the left. Finger one, my thumb is going to go to G below middle C. One, one, two, G, G, A. Then a bit of a stretch up to F. So the natural position of my hand would be to have my finger five on D. So it's two more keys further to the right. So a bit of a stretch. And then I've got a little run coming down. So F, E, D, C, C. Like that. And I've got D, E, D with fingers three and four. Three again. A, B. So again, a little stretch of your hand. So the thumb goes to A, finger two, plays B. That whole phrase goes. Now, if you find that that stretch from A with finger two to F is a little too far, uh, which it might be for your hand, uh, there's another option, which is instead of going one on G and two on A is to reverse them. Play G with finger two, and your thumb plays A. That means the uh, stretch up to F is far less than it otherwise would be. The advantage of playing like that is your thumb goes to A at the very start, and it stays on A for the final couple of notes. Uh, the next part of the tune starts the same, Instead of playing a double C, you play only one, and then a little stretch up to G, back down to D with finger two. I'll do that little bit again. Alternate fingering for the beginning. And we've got a repeat of the first phrase. And here comes the fun. Moving all the way back up to uh, the right on the keyboard. Finger five is up on C here. Finger two is going to start this section with a G, but we're going to play B flat and then A flat with these fingers four and three. So G, G, C, B flat, A flat. Then we've got two and one playing G and F. And we've got to cross over finger three to E flat here. So the technique that you may have learned of crossing over the top of your thumb. So you've got three, two, one, E flat, D, C. And the whole section ends with a long G. I'll do that big run again. It's, uh, it's a scale of C minor, in fact. C... Uh, of C minor, um, descending, going down, and finishing with a G. And then we uh, repeat our whole first section. Now, I sometimes forget to do that little stretch at the start and play that G with finger four, um, which makes it a little harder. It's not impossible. So if you, uh, like me, sometimes forget to do that, and you do one five, 
the tricky bit is getting from this D here, which you'll find you're playing with finger two, without any gap at all, you've got to get up to C. Now it doesn't have to be joined, it's, uh, it's not legato this section, it's uh, a little separated. But it's quite a difficult uh, thing to do to hit that C accurately every time. So better if you remember, as I sometimes do, I'm going to play that G with four, so that you can do the stretch from D well, with your thumb to C with finger five. Uh, I'll do the very end uh, when I've finished with the left hand. So here we go, left hand. I'm starting with finger two on C. Uh, that's the C below middle C, uh, the second C on the, uh, from the edge of the keyboard. And I'm doing a little separated run. Two, three, four, five, going down from C, B, A, G. And I do that once, twice, three times. Got to move quite quickly all the way up to this note here, B flat, just below middle C, and I go. That's B flat A, B flat G, finger two, three, two, four, and that's at the same time as my right hand's playing. So let's look how that fits together. So you at the start you're playing two notes in your left hand for every one note in your right hand. And then as you play this note C for the second time, you've got a three note run with your right hand. So it's together at the start and then two other notes. And as you hit the high C, you're hitting a B. Both hands hitting G at the same time. And then... So before we begin the repeat... Couple of G's with your left thumb and then a stretch down to C. Uh, a bit of a stretch, but um, because it's your thumb and finger two, that should be okay. There I go again, forgetting to use finger four. Let me try and do that properly. So that is plenty. But if you're really ambitious, let's take on the middle section. So. So what's happening here is the right hand's leading it off with those two G's with the thumb. And then as you go up with the right hand, we're going down with the left hand. So we're starting a descending scale with your left hand and it's all separated notes and we're doing F, E, D with fingers one, two, three and then we use our good old thumb under technique to get to C with our thumb and then we play B flat twice with finger two and a single G. bit is the same at the beginning and then we have as you go up to a D you're doing G D and your left hand is going that's B flat B flat again A B flat G. great bit of the tune if you can get the hang of it tricky but uh, but really really satisfying if you get it and then we've got a repeat. And then comes the real fun. So the right hand is doing. And the left hand is going to play, thankfully, at the same rhythm, but it's going to be doing an ascending scale at the same time as the right hand is doing a descending scale. So your hands are starting on the outside coming towards each other in the inside. And this is what we do. So I've just played G with finger four. I'm going to swap finger five. So let's see what we do. We've got A flat and B flat with fingers four and three, which is the same fingers as play the same notes up here, but not at the same time. Anyway. So we're going B, G, A flat, B flat, C with finger two. D with your thumb and then crossing over the top of your thumb, that same technique as we used 
Coming down with the right hand, we're going up with the left hand to E flat. And we're going three to one E flat F G, and then to finish, crossing over finger two over the top of your thumb to play A flat, and then back to G. It's worth doing that again a couple of times. time your right hand is going so that's the fun bit you're playing both G to double G at the same time as each other and then so if like me you make a couple of mistakes when you're doing that that's okay it's worth practicing if you get that far, then all you're going to do is repeat the opening. C5, which is a combination of C's and G's. So I've got a C down here and I've got a G here. Five on C, one on G. Right hand, I've got finger two playing G and five on a high C. And if you don't get a standing ovation at the end of that, then life is really not fair. So good luck with that one. Uh, very, very uh, challenging, but uh, I know some of you are up for that kind of a challenge. So uh, good luck. See you all soon.